All right, pup dogs. I know I'm not Scotty, but I am an Animain with over 500 hours, confirmed hours on Ana, probably 600 at this point on multiple accounts, on three accounts. Uh, reaching at least diamond, so mid diamond, low, low lower mid diamond, I would say. Anyway, I'm. I couldn't really help myself when you said uh, do a, a vod review of Ana, and I love love doing vod reviews because uh, I like telling people how bad they are. No, <laughs> just kidding. So you're an SF fan? That's that's good. That's good shit. Um, let's get that right out of the yes, the yes. Mm -hmm. Here, I just want to say from the get go. I on Havana, um, not Havana. Where are we at? Where are Rialto? On Rialto, when I play Ana, there's no reason for you to be on the low ground. There really isn't. Is a big disadvantage to start from the low ground. I mean, sometimes I would say I start with the low ground if I know my tanks are just gonna go in hard. Like maybe if it's like a Ryan Zarya. In this case, you do have a Ryan Sigma. No, sorry, that's the other team. You have a a, an Orisa and a Reinhardt, uh, which is very weird, uh, but it, it can work, um, which makes sense. So I'm not I'm not gonna say that this is a bad thing, but uh, I especially because if you see at some point your Bastion is gonna go high ground with just his Lucio. He's emoting, I think. No, he's twitching. What is he doing? What? What is going on? Oh. Okay. So right here, you sh you could be up here with him and have high ground uh, control and use the high ground for cover. You have this nice, I really like coming out the left uh, left door because you have this nice cover you can move back you can move left for the cover on the this artificial cover right here it's really great because you have a great sight line onto their high ground and they even have a bastion which is very weird because the bastion's not meta but and he's exposed so it makes for an easy sleep when you sleep something do not hesitate especially on the bastion all you have to do is sleep and then hide the cover um you know, and aim. Just aim. Just take your time and aim. I noticed. I watch. I watched a little bit of how you started off, and your aim is a little off, only because you don't actually take the time to aim your shots. Which isn't like I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but sometimes when you get good enough, then you can start doing like quick scopes and and doing all sorts of like just raw aiming and just autopilot but for right now like if if your aim is a little shoddy you need to take take your time and and just just move your mouse and crosshair towards the target you want to hit and just hit it here you, you just heal your tanks that don't need healing they're fine completely but your bastion is the thing that was exposed uh, i mean obviously he's in a in a really dumb position if his tanks are down here and he's going to take the high ground and play like a very far range bastion does not gonna work. Here you're just kind of uh, hip firing. This is nice. This is fine. See that sleep right there? What I said. If you had, if you had, just took your time, right? Just don't don't jump. Stop jumping. Take your time and just aim at the bastion. He's not. He's in turret mode. There's no way he's gonna get out in time. Uh, even though sleep dart is only 30 meters per second. You aim very easily, aim. You move your crosshair to the bastion and you aim and simply sleep him. It's a very easy sleep. You should have landed it. Um, there was no reason to flick there. You know what I mean? Like there's there's no reason to flick shot the 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 a, a bastion that's stationary. Bastion's one of the easiest heroes uh, besides tanks to sleep when he's in turret mode, and it's very, very Ana's a very good counter to him. Your Orisa <laughs> looks like she got pushed off by Farah technically, but it looks like she just suicided. Here, I noticed this too when I was watching it. You take a very long time 
Lucio, Lucio needs healing very desperately. Uh, you look very panicked, and and the jumping is not very helping helpful. Uh, uh, I, th I would say just try like remove jump if you have to, or or put it on a different key or whatever it is. Try to at least actively if you're gonna change help one thing. Here's th something I would do. Do not. Sorry, let me spit out my gum. Do not jump in one match unless you have to like for for to get to a higher cover or higher high ground or something uh i would say jumping is very bad for you it, it reduces your movement um you can't strafe while you're jumping um and it makes a very predictable shot to a lot of like usually hit scan heroes or even projectile heroes re really honestly but just try to actively think, should I be jumping? Like sometimes you can get away with jumping and it's a very, very bad habit to pick up. And I, I have have done it before because it feels nice. You think you're like moving. Actually, what you should maybe incorporate is crouching because Ana has one of the best crouches in the game. But I've seen even pro Ana players that do not crouch. They don't jump, they don't crouch. And they just mostly strafe because that's pretty effective and, and use a lot of natural cover. Here, right here, you can nade, you should nade the Reinhardt early so you get your cooldown faster. Um, you don't really need to use nade on yourself since you're still kind of higher healing and Lucio is still going to heal you while he's being pinned. But you should be pip firing into this Reinhardt and nading him as early as possible. Just autopilot. Just you take a little t time to do it, you, although I, I will applaud that you did actually end up nading him. Here also, um, yeah, it's good that you get you try to close the gap and get behind the shield and melee him. Even that's a really good. I like that. Um, I like I like it. I like this. I like this. This is this is good. This is good play. Here though, here's where you need to just turn around and move back. Don't sleep in that. Don't waste your sleep on anything. Don't don't waste your cooldowns. Um, unless I mean, even if you did hit like a ba the bastion and and whatnot. Here, right now, just nade yourself. There's no... I know it might f feel like it's a, a waste of a nade, but the sooner that you nade yourself, the sooner you're going to get the cooldown back. And it might feel like you're wasting it, but you can wait around for, for 10 seconds before the nade recuperates. And your team can win without the nade, typically, right? And you need the health. And Lucio is going to be stuck healing you for a long time, if right? So it's just... Here, I do not like this. This this kind of pot Ana is not a pocket hero, okay? Yeah, you can pocket a hero as Ana, but you don't want to just sit idly and heal heal bot. Um, if anything, Bastion should be positioned further in, and you would be behind him, and you'd be able to do damage and use your abilities. But in this case, that's not the case, right? For some reason, he's at your spawn. Uh, shooting from afar, which is not actually, she really shouldn't be playing Bastion to begin with. It's not a very good strat, especially on a Rialto attack. Um, so you have a, a Torbjorn that dies. Uh, this is good, actually. I like the, that you're challenging the Bastion because your the entire team isn't, and you're the only one that's kind of DPSing him and forcing him to uh, get off high ground. Uh, let's just play for a while. I've been I've been pausing a little too much. Here, okay, in this situation, what are you? Oh, ooh, you, he just went straight into that. In this situation, you notice that Lucio desperately needs healing. Well, he amps up, but Reinhardt, you see on your screen right here, Reinhardt is half health. You even see it in the corner of your screen. That's a very big, big thing to keep, always keep your tanks, especially armored tanks, you want their armor up because they take way less damage when their armor is up. And it's mainly what you will win a lot of games by at low ranks. I don't know what rank this is at, but you will win a lot of, a lot of games just by purely keeping your tanks up because the enemy supports might not do that as well and you will outshine them in that way um 
if you enable Reinhardt to push in harder, I mean, this is weird. This is a weird composition because Orisa, he's shielding behind an Orisa shield. So your teammates are kind of uh, not throwing, but they're they're not really. I don't think they understand what they want to do compositionally wise. Here, I I do not. I'm not stop stop with the n lack of movement. Um, I'm sorry to pause this so often, but. Every time I feel like I have something to say, um, don't stand still when at any moment. There's no reason to stand still unless you're taking a pause, doing like a specific pause in a strafe movement. Like if you think like, oh, I want to pause to throw them off and you're going to strafe. That's the only time you should be standing completely still or you're behind cover and you know for a fact that you're not, uh, you're not going to be hit. In, in which case you don't really have to think about strafing so much but right here you actually have like about a lot there's a lot of exposure here even though you might f seem like you're behind cover there is like some exposure in a, in a higher rank someone will spam through this this little doorway and they might end up getting you or a widow will hook up and shoot you so stop do not stand still for any reason there's a you're jumping forward and and backwards and you're moving forward and backwards, but it's not really making it harder for you to be hit. You need to be strafing left to right. Right here. Let's see how this fun though. Okay, your your Reinhardt kind of was was banking all of that on one pin, which is a bad idea when he gets nanoed. They shatter. Get in there. Okay, so they shatter. You guys only have nano, and they shatter, and he gets blocked. You nano the Reinhardt at full health, mind, right? I don't think you needed to use it just then. Uh, it's a much better... Nano is really good when your tanks are actually low, and you need to heal them up. In fact, it's actually probably better to save it and just do a dry push. There's no real reason... There's no real reason to nano Reinhardt at full health unless he's already being aggressive. In this case, he wasn't, and your, your tanks are being very passive right now. And he takes, he thinks that nano means charge, but he misses his charge, and it wastes your nano completely. So maybe in this, whatever rank this is, I don't know. I'm going to guess it's probably like silver. Um, Just nano someone... I mean, it is really good to nano tanks when they're low health, but nano, like, I don't know, the Orisa that can that will just shoot, probably, because Reinhardt might end up wasting your nano by thinking he, a pin is going to be... When, he, when in this situation, he could have just swung forward, fire striked, and probably gotten two, like, one or two kills. He pro would have definitely sh shut this Reinhardt down. You get booped off. There's not a lot you can do about that. I don't know how Lucio gets booped off. Let's see. The Lucio also doesn't understand the speed of Reinhardt when he's nanoed. And he's stuck on healing, which is a very, very, very big sign that this is a, probably a low rank. You're, yeah, this is, this is just, this is just uh, what you have to deal with at, at these ranks. Um, uh, there's nothing you could have done because you just get booped off. But the Lucio definitely. Oh, sorry. This this fucking. I should lower the sound because it is loud. Like sixty. Um. Yeah, Lucio should not have died to that. He even wall rided a little bit, and he uh. Whoa, what happened there? Sorry, I went too far forward. Um, so in this case, you have a turret at spawn. That's great. Um, let's see. Nice sleep. Nice sleep. I like this. And you don't... That's good. You don't, like... You, it's a great idea. It's great to do that. It's a very good... Whenever you see someone like that out of position and you sleep them, try to wait for the full duration of the sleep. In your case, your widow wakes them up early for no reason. But... Um, it it's practically they're 
they're they're adding like five seconds to their their uh uh it adds 5.5 5 seconds if you do the to its full duration of of uh to their uh respawn if you kill them by the end of it right so it's very useful to ignore sleeping targets until the full duration of the sleep and also very little tidbit is in if any case you need to one v one someone if you wait until the the final part where they they wake up from their sleep um it takes longer if you wait for that that little noise to stop the the sleep sound it will stop and you'll get a, a better, bigger duration to do more damage than if you wake them up early here i can't i'm i'm in awe i'm in shock and awe that 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 barrage didn't kill you uh i just want to see that that's just amazing to me it's mostly because she loses focus on you so fast and she was so low on the ground that it, it would have been better if she was up higher and she mo would have mostly got you if she if she was, she was just a little bit higher and, and aimed downwards all the, the the missiles would have would have done a lot of splash damage and killed you in this case you're really lucky and you I think you go for a sleep here right Oh, Widow dies. You... Okay. There's a very big lack of awareness you have. I mean, it was an okay sleep. But you turn upward thinking that she's above you, and you don't notice where where she is. That's just a problem in general. I like the hip firing, but you need to stop jumping for sure. Stop with this impulsive jumping. Uh, the nade's fine, but... Yeah, actually, the nade was fine, but you know, typically you want to use your nade aggressively. Reinhardt, you need to heal him. You need to heal him. You need to heal him. Heal, heal, nade yourself and him at the same time right now. Uh, okay. Now, okay, here's another big problem I see. You need to stop. Right here, you should be thinking, how do I use this natural cover to stay safe? while still peak shooting in this case you jump in a predictable manner while your tanks are both half you reload and you're 21 health now your tanks are getting healed i think by lucio i guess he beats and you get saved by beat but let's say lucio didn't beat right there you would have died for sure you're exposed to this Sigma Junkrat spamming you. If there were more uh, enemies right there at that choke, you and if it was a higher rank, you would have died very easily. I sleep on the ball. It's great. Always sleep ball when you ha have a chance. Uh, here, like, here's another problem. Somehow you guys get the point. They don't touch. Whatever. Heal Orisa. You need to heal Orisa. Keep the tanks up. Always keep tanks up. Once you keep the tanks up, maybe think about healing the DPS, but mostly, mostly it's about... Ana is really effective at doing two things at the same time, and that is healing your own tanks while making plays for your DPS. You want to start some damage on, on, on their squishies, uh, or even their tanks, maybe, and you want to constantly keep your tanks up while also making sure that you're safe in a safe position and you're 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 okay in this case just don't yeah reinhardt's very low and he needs your help there's nothing else i can say about that really nice sleep nice sleep that was actually good uh i think you this this is problem you having where you try to hit you try this quick scope you just probably need to, to practice this and is you need to practice quick scoping so when you scope instead of doing these big flicks and scoping start very slowly like i said earlier start with just 
learning how to aim without moving. Then incorporate some movement and start to learn how to aim with your movement. And then you want to start learning more detailed things. Quick scoping is really just, it's like you're about to hit fire or something and you know you're going to hit it, but you want the quick scope because you want it to be a hit scan and you want it to be uh, instant. Then that's when you incorporate these, these kind of quick scoping. There's no reason for you to quick scope right now if you can't pull it off um we'll keep going we'll keep going though all right six yeah six out of position there i mean you probably just got cut off when you guys pushed in here just take high ground there's or i mean or stay on cart really i mean your whole team is staying on cart which is just weird from a standpoint of they're not going to create space so they're it's going to be a harder time for everyone because they're they're just gonna close the gap and come to you, and and they're gonna they're gonna make it. Your their your tanks are essentially making it easy for them to just uh, fight you on the point. Uh, but you notice that you even hear Junkrat walking up, and if you were up there, uh, potentially Junkrat could have killed your DPS, but. I like the fact that you're st sticking with the tanks as well. I mean, you're just kind of you're dependent on where how where the tanks are playing. Although on high ground, I would say you can heal the tanks from high ground, and it's so much better cover. It's so much better cover on it. You get to move behind uh, artificial cover. You get to, you can move backwards to get the uh, to get maximum types of uh, sight lines. So you gotta start thinking, if you want it to get better, you, you gotta start thinking in, in terms of what position makes me harder to get to and what position makes it easier for me to hit the enemy. And high ground achieves both of that at the same time. All right. So you have nano. I don't like holding onto nano for so long, but there is no reason, real reason for you to use it for no reason, you know? So I like that you're kind of hanging on to it. You hear the tire? And I would just start moving back and trying to uh, predict where the tire is going to be and start shooting at it. Move back, move back, back. Luckily, your widow hits it. Um, you see Sim. I would just sleep her. Okay, you missed sleep. And that's the that is just like a that's just like a mechanical thing. If you could land the sleep, the whole fight would be different, right? She's already high charge, and you're again. You don't have this instinct to move back when you when you feel unsafe. You even there is even a, you can even see Symmetra throwing orbs right now. And either you can move right behind your tanks, go into that corner, go into this corner over here, um, or you could you could or go upstairs try to go upstairs is another great position but you would be pretty exposed right you see reinhardt's shield is about to go down and so is orissa's for some reason they're both shielding at the same time uh for some reason they're playing orissa reinhardt uh the main is nice it hits the tire but it didn't really do anything for reinhardt again just hit the sleep try to get mechanically better at sleep if you need to practice sleeps you know, go into a custom game and just turn off cooldowns and, and try to figure out how... Or go into, like, uh, I would say there's a great mode called, uh, if you heard of it, uh, on a uh, paintball, where everyone's 20 health, it's a one-shot, one-kill, there's, a, like, a max scope time, and you, you really are forced to sleep. Your sleep is on a lower cooldown. <coughs> Sorry. And you start to get, if you play that long enough, and you've practiced with that long enough, you will start to understand how to flick shot sleeps, and you'll start to understand like the the, the project, uh, how the projectile works, and how long it takes to wind up, and how fast it goes, and what you what you can possibly hit, and what you can't. You need to start like with what I said at the beginning. Focus on your aim first. Do not move onto movement. Do not start, in, you know, moving onto flick shots or anything like that until you've got the basics down. Uh, because if you're too uh, ADHD or whatever, and you 
you you're moving around and jumping around and you can't sleep a, a, a stationary bastion uh your the fundamentals are are already not there to begin with so the rat known as Symmetra comes in the back line and destroys everyone I assume um let's just skip all that whatever T team lost oh we're trying to do some preset nades I see I see the problem wait the problem with that I would say is it's kind of useless in this position um if your team let's say you died only and your team was up there um then then yeah uh there is a there is a there's a chance that a preset nade uh could work and i would say that there is also another mode uh, a custom game mode on um that shows you the trajectory of of, of nades um if you ever want to learn how to do a preset nade i there was a, there was one time i was um doing a tournament and I wanted to learn some how to do some preset nades on Eichenwald, and now I have that that kind of burned my brain on, on as at least two different preset nades of where exactly to position. Actually, I was trying to do three, but I have mostly only two down, and it was just because I was, I used that custom game to kind of perfect what position I would be in to, to hit those preset nades. But once you got them down, then and especially if you if you keep trying I, I always applaud people who try to do preset nades because they're very difficult to land but if you start to get that muscle memory you start to understand how the how the nade is going to land how how far it's gonna go where you're gonna throw you know even if and sometimes I throw preset nades without having practiced them and it's just because I have an understanding a little bit of how the nade is gonna work how far it's gonna go and how you know where it's gonna land probably in this case though your team's not over there and even if you did hit a really nice nade your team is not gonna follow up on it right away so it's like a waste of a cooldown and then you're just feeding their enemy support ultimates uh, okay so you TP nice TP onto high ground you immediately relinquish high ground immediately uh, I guess because you think that you should be behind your tanks, but honestly, I would say F the tanks and just stay high ground with Sim. And you can start sniping the enemy. You, I think here you're being a very passive Ana. You have Nano. Uh, all the healing that you're doing right now is, I wouldn't call it a waste, but you're building Nano on top of Nano. And it doesn't mean that you need to use Nano for no reason, but... but you need to pressure, go into voice chat and say, go in, I have nano, I'm going to nano you, Reinhardt. Please, go in, and I will nano you. Swing, do not <laughs> do not charge into the enemy and waste my nano. Um, so, she bongos. Let's see. You guys are... Okay, no, they, they don't have any ultimates. You guys have a fuck ton of ultimates. You guys have a great ult economy. But it doesn't mean anything unless you guys layer them and use them to win the fight you guys actually could win this fight very easily with like nano uh you guys bongoed already you guys had five ultimates uh unfortunately symmetra goes down but uh she does kill she just trade with the the junk rat with her turret uh, I get this feeling like you wanna like hit uh uh quick scope a lot, but it is really not effective if uh if you could just hip fire, because then you you can hip fire is very good. I'm really I'm bad I'm bad at that a lot because I I I honestly I, I scope a little too much honestly, and that that in in, in my case too I hip fire less uh unless I know I can hit it and. If you can learn how to hip fire more frequently, um, and it opens up the ability to move more, better, uh, faster. But sometimes you do need to be scoped, and it, it makes it a lot easier. <coughs> so you sleep them. Okay, that was actually okay, Nade. I don't know if it was necessary. Uh, 
I do that too though, I, I just auto, so typically I will just uh, throw a lot of my cooldowns into ball, especially sleep, because it makes him a much easier target to hit, and uh, takes him out of his ball form. Nana Reinhardt on, on hit him on anti, but luckily he still has armor, and right now he's, okay he shatters. That's good, that's good. Alright, he really wants to charge, which is okay-ish. Of course, your, your Torbjorn is killing it with this turret somehow. Uh, you guys are left with... So you use Shatter, you use Bongo, you use Nano, and now you're left with Beat and uh, Molten Core. Here, I like this position. Do not... Yeah. Try not to expose yourself for no reason. And again, stop. I would also advise to... Don't feel a little too focused on healing the team. Uh, Ana is a character that can be played aggressively, as aggressive as you want. Um, some people will say, uh, you know, you should be heal botting, and in some ca certain cases, you actually have to heal bot. Like let's say you have a Zen, maybe you have a Brig that isn't getting Inspire up. Um, Maybe Lucio wants to speed more, so but in this case you have a Lucio that's being passive as well. So you have two passive uh healers, and in this case it's winning mostly because you have this a lot of tanks that are just uh have a lot of barriers and, and are just sticking sticking with the point. And that's gonna work for low rank, right? For up to about maybe high gold. But at some point, your tanks are going to have to be aggressive, and you as a support are going to have to help your DPS and help the game, actually just help your team start with plays. So instead of being very defensive and very just uh, heal a body, uh, especially when they're full health. When they're full health right now, instead of like looking at the cart and, and, and kind of being passive, you should find, be finding sight lines with the enemy that are safe for you, that you can still peek shoot and find ways to, to get damage out. In this case, nice sleep on the ball. He's, yeah, that was actually a good nade. I like that nade because it he the ball thinks he's going to retreat and get a health pack probably or, or get healed. But it, it stalls the ball for very long when he's needed. So a lot of times cooldowns do get used. I think you get confused because you hear a turret in the back uh, hit, trying to hit something. I'm not sure what it was aiming at, but here's yeah, I like this. Um, okay, you, you know Sim is behind you, so you got you got to uh, turn to that. That was that was good. I like that. Here, try to use the cart for cover. Use always use artificial cover as well, and you need to stop jumping, man. Stop, stop with the movement. Now I'm, I'm not gonna put you past for dying to a tire. I've died many a times to tires like that, but. As soon as you hear the voice line, you think, okay, he's on my left side. So Tyre's probably going to come from the left side. Um, you're uber focused on trying to heal your team, and they're all full health right now. Lucio is like being a heal bot Lucio as well. So in, in this case, Lucio should probably be uh, speeding. When he hears Tyre, he goes, oh shit, there's a Tyre coming. I need to speed away from the Tyre while shooting at it. Uh... And you, and you should be thinking, I, how do I... Yeah, that tire almost died, too. That was very unfortunate. Let's see. Here, I would just use this barrier. Use the barrier that you have have given to you. We're supposed to push down this barrier here. And all you actually... You don't even have to move back. I, I made a mistake th saying that. You, you can actually use, like, sh shield dancer on this barrier. And typically, I would say you move right unless the tire goes right and while you're doing that you can aim at the tire and try to kill it i don't know if you had a chance to do that tire has a really big explosion unfortunately and i don't really like that to be how it's designed really but it's just the way the game is so now that you're dead it makes it very hard for your team to push as ana especially as the main healer and your other healer is lucio although he is heal botting it makes it very difficult for your team to, to, to fight. If anything, most higher ranks will always have to push back. Unless they're so deep in that they, they can't, they'll just probably reset after dying. 
Um, but in this case, yeah. In this case, I don't know. You guys are actually winning the fight, kind of. Mostly probably because Lucio is keeping, keeping them up, and because the time to kill for the enemy is very, very high, and that's not. In a higher rank, you would just you uh, your team would get melted after you died. Reinhardt needs healing so desperately. Heal Rein first. Always heal Rein. Heal Rein to get his armor up. Uh, unless, unless, there's some exceptions, like someone else is about to die and they need healing, like this person over here, it seems. That would be an exception. Try to heal Symmetra, maybe. You know, right? She is trapped, but maybe if you can negate the damage from Junkrat and she can get out of the trap, it, it saves you a lot of time. Uh, okay, they're emoting. This is a this is amazing. Uh, find a good nade. Lucio does not like to speed a lot, which is a very detriment. <laughs> which makes it very difficult for your tanks to push in, especially Reinhardt. Um, like he should be speeding in right now. When she bongos, he could speed in. Like get himself healed up and speed, speed in and help, help everyone get in there. But he just stays on healing, indefinitely. Uh, not the best nade really, because you you need to you need to think that nade is so much better. Nade is such a better, so much better, of an ability, when you land it on your tanks and on the enemy. But sometimes. You actually just actively don't even try to hit your team, and you're going for straight aggro nades. In this case, your bongo is up, and you want to hit a very fat aggro nade. It makes it such an easy kill. Um, you're going to do more damage with the bongo, and you're going to... You're just going to overall be... Like incredibly you're just gonna push so much faster if you do a, a straight aggro nade so i would say try to get a high ground position on the cart or something like that or even get in, into a sight line where you can land an, a nice fat nade and just hit try and of course you can't see in the game you couldn't see where where they're positioned but if you see the the, the ana and the junk if you hit like both of those they would be so incredibly uh vulnerable after that nade uh, specifically because they don't have a Zarya to cleanse it. Uh, uh, your team would delete them easily. In this case, you, you nade the ground on this Orisa that's kind of full health. And it, it doesn't really do anything. And this is what I'm talking about being too passive. If you want to climb as Ana, and you can climb as Ana, I would say. And I think most people can climb to Diamond. If they just kind of play uh, her to her best ability. Uh, be, try to be, just try to learn her at her, her most aggressive, because once you learn her at her most aggressive, um, then you can tone it back and be defensive and learn, also learn her defensive, uh, aside as well. Uh, I, I had a big problem of, of, uh, frontlining, uh, and always wanting to make, start plays and do plays and sleep people and waste my cooldowns and not... And not and not wait and that's probably why I'm not higher ranked than Diamond, but but you gotta think that it, if you can be aggressive with her, you're you're practically kind of like half of a DPS at that point. Because but even more, you can even say you're more lethal than a DPS because you can heal other players. Ana has been known to be the the, the woman with a eleven person shotgun, uh, shotgun so, rifle. 11 person rifle she can sh she's literally there to shoot literally every character in the game you're there to shoot your teammates you're there to shoot the enemy and if you kind of don't participate in shooting the enemy it just makes it hard for your your team to push so let's watch this let's watch this. i won't pause it too much now please uh mm. it's just like a you just threw sleep out there just to, to do it Arana goes down. So you see, they're almost dead, so it makes it easy for you guys to push. Even though they have a bath as well. This is great. I like nanoing Orisa because Orisa can just shoot. 
uh, and build her ultimate back up and not waste your nano with a charge, like a mischarged. Uh, this is not bad. There's nothing really much to say about that. Uh, in a higher rank game, you probably would just be positioned off the cart and you would just be throwing nades around the point and you would be um, uh, all right Let's see stay on Ana. that's great i like playing Ana as well all right you take high ground i like this this is a great position but here here's also another problem here i see you're very exposed there's no reason to be this exposed on high ground. Um, here, there's no reason to be like this. If you can see, like, if you see, like, I know it looks okay from your perspective, maybe. But if you look from away from you, you're in incredibly exposed. There's no reason for you to be on this corner like this. Because you could literally be behind this wall and lower in, like, lower into this high ground. And it makes, it makes your play, your, your uh, model so much harder to hit. And even though you can't see, the, the, the purpose of you being on high ground for at least here for a moment is to be very aggressive at the beginning when they're not really uh, pushing yet, when they're just coming out. And then maybe you can think about dropping and being behind your tanks on low ground uh, because they're on low ground. Uh, which isn't totally bad on Rialto defense, honestly. Um, let's see. All right, let's see what happens. What do we do? All right, so you drop instantly. Uh, it's fine. It's not really a big deal. Ah, uh, this is what I'm talking about. These flicks. These flicks. You you make the mistake of always flicking when when sh firing your like. I don't know if you well, you try. I don't know if you flick. You f you you don't take the time to line up the sleep and just go for the sleep. You you do all these strafing as well. When you just need to stand still for a moment so you can sleep. If you start strafing around, it's gonna make it way harder for you to, to land the sleep. But if you land the sleep, you know, and you miss it for whatever reason. Then you can go back to strafing and it'll be more effective. And, and in this case also, your strafing is kind of, uh, it's, it's very sporadic. It's really quick. Um, you need to, to understand that you should be doing more high, higher strafes instead of just back forth, back forth, back forth, like, like you're vibrating. Uh, luckily you win this duel. You did, you did pretty well there. Uh, yeah, you do need healing. What do you got? You have a BAP as well. Your BAP should be healing, and you should not be exposing yourself like this. If anything, you can go get the health health back if BAP's not healing you, because it's a solo queue, I assume. Um, you're still 130, and your BAP does not... Alright, well, you're 80 now. Okay, this is like a clusterfuck. This is just like a... This is some low-tier shit, okay? In no world will this ever happen at a higher rank unless they have a lever or something. Or some kind of thrower. Right here, you see, notice how Reinhardt is so damaged and he's discorded and he's at their spawn. Right here, you need to, like, focus your attention on healing him until he gets his armor. I know Bap is there, too. But you need to start healing him. I would throw the nade instantly. Uh... Maybe when you throw the nade too, you can land. Oh, in case, actually, now you think about it, you should nade yourself, or maybe close a gap to Reinhardt for a moment, nade yourself and him, and then move back. Uh, but in this case, yeah, nade yourself, nade yourself. You you waste so much time because you you waste a lot of time when you have the nade up already in your AD health, and you're wasting so much more time. It's like you it's like it's like your it's like your nade is now on a 20 second cooldown because you refuse to use it. Uh, always use your cooldowns if you're in if you're if you're in danger of dying. Uh, it might sound selfish, but if you die, that means your team is going to die, right? 
So you need to be very selfish when it comes to your nade. You need to be very selfish uh, unless you're going for a really aggro play. In this case, you don't need to because your whole team is controlling them from even getting out of the door. So in this case, you can just be kind of chilling, uh, shooting, you know, getting good sight lines, maybe even going back on high ground, honestly, and then using the high ground as great cover. This is like, this is like, what is this? And then you, yeah, again with this, you need to calm down. You need to calm down and you need to, you need to just, Stop spazzing out. Stop spazzing out. Stop jumping. Stop hitting walls with when you're scoped in. That was a nice sleep, actually. Uh, uh, you see like that? Like, your map doesn't heal you when you're 100. You use your nade on your tanks? I, I assume they were low, right? Let's see. Uh... Yeah, that was alright, but it would have been better if you close the gap with them and nade yourself with them. So there's no real reason for you to, to feel pressure right now. They're not coming out of their spawn. You have nano. You guys actually, well I guess you guys have equal amount of ults really, but you guys have, they have their support ults because you guys are being, doing a lot of damage to them. And you guys have one support ult, almost two, and uh, bongo as well. And almost even uh, Molten Core. So you guys are winning in the ult economy. And stop with the jumping, man. Just just for what, you know, for, I don't know. Just actively think, should I be jumping when you could be straight? You could be positioned left here. If you were just right here and you were just peak shooting. Right? And then you reload, you reload behind cover, right? Where you're, where you're safe, where there's like a, you know, there's no chance of you dying. Then you come back out, right? And if you feel like, oh, I'm gonna be a little ballsy and come out and do it like a, a nice nade. And then, you know, you hit, you hit a nice aggro nade. And really honestly, when the higher you get, the more that you will, uh, you will nade, do aggro nades the more uh, potential for picks there will be. So let's see what happens. In this case, like on a defense, it's really difficult when one of your healers uh, dies. Uh, luckily you guys have BAP as well. Uh, that nade did not hit. Yeah. Again with the preset nades, it is nice that you, you try to do a preset nade, but I think you do it a little too low. Uh, if anything, if you go into one of those custom games of the preset name, you probably would have like shot it a little bit higher, like 10 degrees higher probably, to maybe 15 degrees higher, and it would probably land somewhere near them. But in this case, let's see, where's it land? It lands on this tower, or no, it lands on this wall. So you do it way too low, and it hits this wall. If you did it about 10 degrees higher, it might have crossed this wall and, and this wall, and it would have landed near them. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that they needed the nade. So it is kind of like, it's one of those things that is like so unnecessary at a low rank that, or even diamond really, honestly, it's not very, it's not a big uh, thing until you get to a higher rank, like master or grandmaster. Although it can be very, very, useful if you know an exact preset nade uh, and you you develop a position that you remember to to know where to nade and how to nade and all right you're 130 again you need healing you should ask back for healing right now instead of having to nade yourself because again you want to use your nades aggressively you guys are spawn camping holding them and it's just because they're refusing to come out of the spawn um they're just kind of getting rolled here and there's no there's no reason for you to be jumping there's no reason to, you don't even need to be strafing really uh i know that's what i not not what i said earlier but like you're so safe that you don't you shouldn't need to feel so much pressure 
That was great. I like that. I like that duel. Uh, always nade Moira after fade is great. Because then she's just completely... Uh, completely neutered. Here, I would probably just sleep ball actually and keep him up there. Just again because it wastes his time and he's not really going to do anything after he gets slept. Or, you know, killing him is good as well, but... Here I think... I think you don't actually actively move back and Reinhardt is also kind of in the, the wrong here for moving behind. Right? But you guys are pushed, positioned so far up that this, this stuff will start to happen. So in this case, I would say... When you hear the bomb come out, immediately, immediately, do not fret to under, you know, figure out where the bomb is coming from and position the best you can. Don't think, you know, you take so much time to turn your, cur turn your, you know, use your mouse to turn and now I, what, both of your healers are down and yeah, they can stall a cart for a small amount of time. In which case they're gonna fucking get a kill apparently. Uh, they're gonna get two kills. Uh, which is weird. In this case, if both healers died. Again, with the preset nade, you need to do it higher. I would, I would definitely go into that custom game mode. Your bap just randomly uses uh, mortality fields in the wrong position. Uh, just a lot of, a lot of ults being used. Ult fiesta. Per, you know the great ult fiesta. And, uh, okay, nothing was really learned this match, was it? Uh, you weren't punished for literally anything that you did. Any mistakes that you made, any positional mistakes that you made. Um, the, I would say the, one of the biggest problems is you, you're trying to do some, like, you're trying to do movement, but you're not really succeeding in the move, in, in strafing. And then you're trying to do these flick shots, and, and, and you're not taking your time to, like, properly learn how to aim once you've got the fundamentals of aim down and you're you can you can aim at things while you're still then you incorporate i would say again incorporate movement and then learn how to m move and aim at the same time and then you start to incorporate flick shots how are you going to flick can you flick the the sleep oh can you do a 180 and, f and 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 sleep uh the tracer that's behind you you know there's there's like there's a lot of levels to playing ana and in this game, you if it was any, like, a tier higher, even a tier higher, I assume this is going to be, like, silver. Uh, maybe gold. Maybe, like, low gold. I don't know. Probably silver. Uh, it just seems like people are playing very, very poorly in this match. Uh, you, a lot of people seem to be very scared at this rank. They're scared of dying. They're scared. They're, they'll start to heal things that are fully healed and not be aggressive. And or just do things like waste nano by charging nothing. Um, it happens, and you gotta play around it. But you, as an auto player, you have an opportunity to be aggressive and defensive throughout the entire match. And you should also have easy time sleeping a stationary bastion. And, and I applaud you for trying to do preset names, trying to do like uh, quick scoping, uh, you know, trying to quick scope because that's something again. That's that's the later thing that you learn later. Once you got the fundamentals of aiming down, that's when you incorporate. Oh, okay, I, I can quick scope this hero. I can, you know, I can quick scope this Moira right now through Baptiste window. You know, this is um, you're trying to put the cart before the horse really here. Get the fundamentals down and you will climb easily. The same thing with like, if you're playing against Azaria. I know there wasn't a Azaria in this game, which is questionable. I mean, I know Azaria's not exactly the best here, uh, tank right now, but, but let's say they did have Azaria, and uh, then you'd have to change your play style. You have to think, okay, when is she gonna bubble? When is she, has she used her friendly bubble yet? Has she used her personal bubble yet? And when can I get a nade off of her? I make that mistake still. Sometimes I'm very like, ignorant sometimes when I you know play and I, I just autopilot and I don't really think about when Zarya is going to bubble but I, that is something I'm kind of trying to uh, 
nailed down as well is it was always making sure I say I know okay Zarya use personal Zarya use friendly now I can I can effectively nade her if I need to and she can't do anything about it for uh, a good amount of time um, and those cooldowns kind of line up very well so you will always it'll be like a game of chicken between you and Zarya usually whereas like you will always think like okay has she used bubbles yet now can I nade the team if I nade a Reinhardt at full health, is that effective at all? Because it's not really like getting him to a level where he can be finished off. And that's when but you, ha you aren't really thinking about things like that because uh, mostly because you're not really doing a lot of aggro, uh, aggro plays as on, on Ana. And in this game, you didn't have to. So uh, your, your team played very, very defensively and you're and when your other support was on Lucio, he was heal botting a lot, so it just made it kind of easy for you. But uh, if you do end up climbing, uh, like a heal bot Lucio will be very ineffective. Um, it will be way better if Lucio saves amp for healing sometimes, but also uses speed about maybe like 50-60% of the time or, or more. Um, speed is just so more important than his his shitty healing anyway, unless he's amping healing, and um, you as Ana will have to you see your your playstyle will have to dramatically change because now you'll be playing with Lucio's at speed more often, and you're gonna have to heal more or be more effective at healing and be uh, better aiming at healing, have better aiming at healing, and and kind of just in general just can't make simple mistakes like i would say when you started this game off um sorry i don't know how i got to oh you you wanted you were playing bap at the beginning huh and then you switched to ana i don't like playing bap honestly i think he was he's kind of uh, it's just kind of sad that he's so good but here, like just generally here, like you, there's no, <laughs> there's no reason for you to miss a Bastion that's stationary, and there's no reason to, for you to miss to sleep on him when he's stationary as well. You not being on high ground is like with a Bastion, with with your Bastion. I know your Bastion's not really playing very well either, but it makes it like here. Just take your time. Don't panic just because he's shooting at you. You can take your time. He he can't really do much. He's just peppering you up a little bit. At least he's even healing you too. So just take your time because, you know, you can even stand still, honestly, and just line the sleep up and sleep him. Now, it's not a guarantee that anyone's going to be able to get to him, but at least he'll be out of, you know, the game for at least five seconds. And if you're like you're a really pro, you'd be able to shoot and land a nade or throw a nade and then shoot him and keep him out of the game even longer. But uh, that that would be later, right? That would be a later kind of scenario. You do an aggro nade on him or and and try to keep him from being effective. Uh, and anything, I'm gonna show you. Uh, I'm gonna make a custom game, and I'm gonna show you that mode so it's a mode that what the hell am i doing i'm sleep deprived i'm sorry um i have it in here somewhere i believe and a nade workshop darwin's and a nade tool so this is for an nade specifically but it also has like uh i don't want team two what am i doing i want well I don't know. I want the, the defense, honestly. Because defense preset nades are more important. Traveling to I think you get spawned in defense anyway. Alright, so they have all these. Uh, they have Sig Rock, Zarya, uh, Secondary, Ash, Dynamite, I assume. Uh, Junkrat, Spam. Uh, I don't know what the May is for. Oh, her ultimate. Uh, Sombra, I assume. I mean her translocator. Uh Torbjorn's ultimate, I assume as well, yeah. And then Bab's uh his uh so this mode you just has no cooldowns. 
and it tells you the the it tells you um Get in here. it tells you uh your position exactly and while that not be helpful because you won't be able to see it you can kind of make your own kind of decisions of position like let's say i want to learn bap I, I really haven't done this with bap really but it will show you and you can go like oh i want to know how to immortality field um sorry i forgot i forgot how to view it i thought it was oh wait it was v v oh my god what the hell i don't know why it's doing that but anyway like get in here you see it doesn't make it, so you, you gotta realize like okay, nah, there's like a there's like a the problem with BAP's thing is that immortality field is that it hits the the invisible wall and I hate that so much. The projectile is so fast and it hits the wall so dramatically that it will just start to slide off the this invisible wall. When it comes to Anna um, I developed at least an idea of, so I decided, okay, well, I'm going to use the base the default skin. And I'm going to figure out where, and I decided, okay, I'm going to be next to this tree, like kind of generally here, like right where this road hits, right? And I'm going to line up my, my scope with the sun. I think I also was like, I'm going to look at like these windows or no make sure uh, when the window that's why it's here i remember now because i saw i said i'm gonna be next to this tree and i'm gonna be make sure that when those windows get are stop being exposed then i'll be ready and i have to see the sun as well so i'll see the i see the sun something like this and then i knew i know that this will land somewhere near the point oh my god what is going on sorry the Oh, I guess do I press it one? What is going on? I don't. I actually don't know. I think. I don't know if it's like broken or anything. Maybe it's broken. Uh. Because I I believe. Hmm. Uh, oh, ultimate, we'll toggle Anna for Kim. Okay, so ultimate, it's not V. I don't know what V does. But okay, anyway, so when those windows get exposed on Iconwald and you're next to the tree, you look at so you line up with the sun, kind of like line up with the point as well. And then this should, what the hell? I'm pressing Q, I don't know. I don't know. It's being, okay. What is going on? It's being very, very weird. Okay, I don't know how I, oh, I was about to do it. It's going to show you the trajectory. What is going on? What is this V? All right. All right, for some reason I got it this time. But here, I developed this position. Yeah, I think I'm going to hit the... When in, in those times where you come out of spawn on Iconwald, and you're thinking, I need to hit, you know. Oh, what the hell? I need to, I'm coming out of spawn. Okay, okay. Bam. I'm going to hit. Oh, my God. What is going on? Sorry, this is trash. This is some trash content right here. Well, anyway, like, if you ever do use this, this workshop, you'll start to see... You know, I missed there a little bit, but is it you, when you try this preset day, you kind of think like, oh, uh, well, I gotta go low, right? Because it's gonna, it's going to, to go where I want it to go. But you going low makes it go straight, and then it goes straight. What you want to go is go up, because when you go all the way up, this is literally going straight up and straight down, right? Well, kind of practically speaking. It hits right there. I guess so it has a little bit of a trajectory, but it's gonna hit you if you go straight up, right? So that's like a that's like a preset nade if like for some reason you wanted to hit yourself and you and you wanna get the cooldown 
later. I mean, I'm not very often will you ever do that, but it could be done, right? So you think like, hey, this trajectory, I guess it's around 70, 70 and 64, will typically hit the point right in the middle, right on the cart. Um, and then you can kind of like play around with it, like, oh, 69 and, you know, oh, here, just below the sun now. I it's lower on, oh, well, actually goes higher. You notice that it's very kind of weird where you're positioned, where you're looking at specifically, you know, how you're positioned and, you know, what, in this case, I did 60, right? 60 and, okay, and, and 50. 60 sorry I'm I'm not really understanding so the, the green is up and down and the red is like 360 so you can look up and down 90 degrees so it's around like 64 and 70 is the tip like on the point anyway whoa what is going on? The other one, I, 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 there was two that I was trying to do on the on this side. Uh, I did something like, oh, I'm gonna be here. I didn't really perfect this one too much because don't. I think it was like I lined up the scope or the, the. I think I lined up this or something like that, and it would land there. I kind of know that one. I don't really use it too often because it's like never, you know. But when the when this game starts, you can always do a preset name on Eichenwald. I like to line up. It was line up. I line up my scope. I stand on the car in the middle of this car, right? Kind of doesn't really matter positionally wise because then it has a big, kind of big splash. I line up my scope with this white. Right, I'll wait for her to like do her little weird thing. Okay, and then kind of line up with the line, the bottom of my gun to that line. I think that's where it is. At. So let's see, fifty, sixty-seven. Uh, the thing moves too, so it's kind of like inconsistent. But make sure that I make sure that my scope isn't lined up with that, and it should be like something like this. And it should land right. Okay, that that's wrong. Um, I think actually not. I don't think I line up with the rope really. The rope is like in between. I think something like okay, so maybe fifty, sixty-three. Let's try that. I kind of forgot. No, that's lower. Man, I'm bad at this. No, I have to go higher. Right, right. So it's all oh, right, right. The the rope is is over. I believe. I I might be positioned incorrectly though on the car. I kind of, if I remember, it was like I was complete. I wanted to be like completely straight with this car, like line up with this lamppost or something, and then I would line up with this, this, and be. I think this is it. No, that's kind of the same, isn't it? It's really difficult. Presets nades are very difficult, and this is why, like, I haven't been in this mode in forever. Uh, let's try like. I think it's more this way, but it, may, it doesn't make any sense because I usually line up. Maybe did I line up with the building? Was it Forty-seven. I think forty-eight, sixty-four. Let's try that. No, that goes higher. Ooh. I need to go higher. Well, anyway, like, like, th okay. If I was just trying to like think about where where it would land, right? Typically, here's what I do when I'm just doing a, a preset nade that I don't know if it's gonna land. I look where I want to land it. So you look where you positionally want to land it, and then you kind of think about the projector of the nade. In this case, I guess I have to go higher. I mean, like, probably like thirty-five, seventy might be good. And there, like, that's exactly where I would hit, right? The, I don't know why uh, my, maybe because I'm positioned incorrectly where I remember, but I always remembered that it'd be here, but it's actually, I guess, more like, maybe the scope was on the rope. I don't remember. 
This is what I'm talking about. It's very difficult to, to know these preset nades if you don't practice them and if you don't know exactly how you're going to remember how to use, when, where and when to use them. So in this case, I guess it's like 35-ish. See that where, this is, notice how this preset nade hits um, too far, too, uh, too far where I want it to go. Um, all right, so anyway, I'm, I'm not gonna like bore you with this anymore. Uh, that's just a little cool. Uh, I think it's just called uh, it's called uh, an on a nade workshop, and I think you can use it for any map that you want. So if you ever want to go into it and you, and then like uh, uh, learn other heroes on it, other things that uh, Darwin's on a nade tool. Maybe there's a newer version. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I haven't used it forever. But uh, if you don't use it, also, um, it's totally fine because preset nades are something that you will never really need to use until master or grandmaster. They're not very effective until then because your team is never going to follow up on a preset nade unless you communicate it. And typically, I just preset nade when I'm coming back from spawn, and it's like I just want to see if I can land it. There's no real use to it besides that at a lower rank. And like in that match where you try to preset nade the team, it makes no sense to preset nade them if your team's not there because you're just kind of wasting your cooldown and you're giving them a chance to build their support ultimates when when the nade cl cleanses. So there's, all right, so that's, that's all I have for you today. Uh, Hopefully you learned something from this. Um, yeah, pup dogs. I don't know when I when I saw your your thing about uh, when I saw your request for Scotty to do an on a uh, vod review. I just uh, I don't know when I hear the words Anna and vod review, uh, it makes my brain get hard. So if that's a good enough reason to, to step in and, and have my own interpretation of your VOD, your VOD. Oh my God, this is an hour long. Holy shit. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. See you around.